We are already into the second half of June, which is Men's Health Month. Time to heighten awareness of preventable problems and really looking for ways to encourage early detection and treatment for a host of illnesses. Today we want to put the focus on prostate cancer, which is the most common cancer among men except for skin cancer. Joining us live this morning to put the focus on this is Dr. Anuj Patel, a radiologist at Northwest Radiology. Doctor, thank you for joining us this morning here to, to talk about this. Let's start, I guess. Um, it, it is a very prevalent uh, form of cancer, as we said, especially for men. Can you talk to me about uh, the signs and symptoms, and, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for having me on here. Um, and regarding your question about signs and symptoms, um, prostate cancer, um, some of the signs and symptoms are things that um, men, as they get older, they kind of just feel like are normal things that are happening, but there's some things that you should kind of pay attention to and see if things are getting um, a little bit uh, more uncomfortable. So certain things are frequent urination or waking up in the middle of the night, having to urinate more frequently than normal. You ever have any blood in your urine um, that is obviously always a concern and something to see a doctor um, even things like erectile dysfunction that can be a sign of prostate cancer um, if you've ever noticed um, any big weight loss or something that you're not intentionally trying to do or working out um, and you're losing a lot of weight that could be a sign kind of of any type of cancer including prostate cancer um, but those are probably the biggest things um, and probably a reason to at least go see a doctor and see if you should get evaluated. Yeah, if any of those symptoms come up, it is time to, to go in and get a diagnosis. You know, that, that, that's a scary word, uh, cancer is. But when it comes to treatment, um, I mean, there, you, the medical community has come a long way with, with finding ways to, uh, to treat prostate cancer. Can you talk to me about some of the advancements and what is the main um, treatment for prostate cancer? Yeah, so the first, uh, I guess the first thing before anything is treated is uh, getting diagnosed. And so whenever you have these symptoms, you come in and um, if there's a concern, uh, the doctor will take some blood work um, and see if there's any kind of levels that are um, elevated that are signs of possible prostate cancer. And then if those things are elevated, they will typically do a, uh, a digital rectal exam, which is an examination that can kind of feel the back of the prostate. Um, but that doesn't really let you evaluate the entire prostate. You can only kind of see that back portion of the prostate and feel it. Um, and see if you see any nodules or something abnormal. Mm -hmm. um, the mainstay in order to actually get diagnosed with prostate cancer, as is true with most any cancer, is that you have to get a biopsy um, and actually see that tissue under a microscope. Um, uh, one of the things that's becoming more and more uh, common now is uh, using MRIs. And MRI is basically, it's kind of like a CT scanner. The machine looks the same. It's a big tube that you sit in. But instead of using radiation, it uses uh, Mag, uh, magnets to kind of create images and you can get images of just the prostate gland and able to kind of see all through the prostate rather than just feeling the back of the prostate you can see the whole thing and see if there's anything abnormal um, so an MRI actually plays a big role in um, evaluating to see if you have prostate cancer it's also useful if you're getting the biopsy it actually you can mark wherever you see this thing that looks suspicious in your prostate gland suspicious for prostate cancer and then the doctor can go in and when they do the biopsy they can actually hit that exact spot um, and then send that for uh, under the microscope and see if there's any cancer there. Um, and MRI is also even used afterwards. So after, once you get your biopsy results and um, cancer is kind of graded in different fashions, you can have kind of low risk cancer and really high risk cancer. If you're one of the low risk people, which is a good thing. All right, good in, thing. in the last few seconds that we have left, talk to me about treatment and what your view is about the recovery rates uh, that you're seeing in patients, at least in this country. Oh, things are definitely getting better as new, new and new treatments come along. There's different treatments regarding, depending on what kind of cancer you have, if you get radiation treatment and chemotherapy and also kind of hormone treatments. But these are all things that you should talk to with your doctor. Um, and one of the big things I wanted to mention with um, getting uh, imaging is that you can actually avoid getting biopsies sometimes. If you're a low risk patient, you can get a um, MRI to kind of follow and kind of screen to see if anything is getting worse rather than getting repeat biopsies. So it is a way of um, kind of getting out of having to get a biopsy. Right. Um, Dr. Patel, uh, that's what your doctor thank you so much. The bottom line is if you experience any of those symptoms, don't hesitate, get it looked at, and, and then address it. Thank you very much, doctor. Nice to chat with you. Take care. Thank you. All right. If you would like more information about that, putting the focus on men's health, fox59.com slash links, and you will be good to go. Take care of yourself, especially as we approach Father's Day here on Sunday. Jim, and it looks like that's our first chance.